Is it possible to want someone so badly, love someone so strongly, so overwhelmingly, you'd be willing to sell your soul to the devil to have him? Sure, it's the stuff of literature, opera, film, that old packed with the devil scenario. Works every time. It's easy, just say, hey, I really want this, and I'll do anything to get it. Then suddenly there's the smell of fire and brimstone, and poof, guess who? Yeah, some hygienically challenged manifestation with horns, tail, and a pitchfork, with eyes so ready could have been the last one staggering out of the local boozer the night before. There he is, grinning at you like that queer old uncle you used to run a mile from as a kid. And he's pushing this greasy piece of parchment at you, along with an old-fashioned quill pen, the kind people used to dip into ink jars. No ink jars here, though. Nope. It's sign and blood time. That's the only way to be sure the terms of this contract will never be broken. With me so far? Good. Anyway, there I was in my flat, crying my heart and soul out. Emphasis on soul here. Over this bloke from Romford. It just gets better and better, done it. Sobbing and wailing like the best professional mourner money could buy, when an unpleasant odor reached my nostrils. And no, it wasn't the week-long accumulation of rubbish that, in my misery, I couldn't be arsed to take downstairs to the bin. When I looked up from the darkness of my palms, I figured I was hallucinating. After all, my eyes were nearly swollen shut from grief. Plus, I'd been drinking every form of alcohol I could find in my cupboards, stopping just short of the bottle of nail varnish remover, which, although technically acetone, smells strong enough to do some serious damage. I must admit that bleachy stuff I used to clean the toilet with was beginning to tempt me as well. Ah, uh, but I digress. Oi, oi! The voice was sandpaper against my eardrums. I shook my head and blinked, but rather than fading, the vision got clearer. And honey, it wasn't good. No one had a key to my flat except the landlord. And despite the amount of alcohol I'd been consuming, this character didn't look one bit like diminutive Mr. Singh with his nut-brown skin and sing-songy accent and penchant for employing various relatives to do repairs rather than paying a qualified repairman or technician to do them. I'm surprised I haven't dropped dead from carbon monoxide poisoning after his brother-in-law fixed the boiler last time. Everyone told me I should have sued, but Mr. Singh hasn't raised my rent in the whole two years I've lived here. Oh, there I go, digressing again. Sorry. Anyway, this horned and tailed vision was one hell of an ugly bastard, I'll grant you that. <laughs>